Hello and welcome everyone. Today we will be sequencing MIDI using Drambo. So I've loaded it up using the MIDI channel here. And I'll bring in a synth. And so I'll go to my Korg Helsinki synth here. Now let's change the default settings to a chill wave. And uh, I've turned it down a little bit. So here we have channel one. And I'll just change the note amount to three voices. And as you can see, we have channel one. And I'll just put in note E2 and A2. We'll keep it simple. And then that's just the velocity we have here. And I'll change the lengths of the notes a little bit just by dragging on the bottoms. And I will come back to Helsinki. And I turn, I hit all notes off or none in the channel filter. And um, here we go. And I'll bring in another instrument so you can see that again. And it's time we we'll go to channel two. Let's turn up this MIDI notes voices. And I'll just put in some MIDI here. So we'll go to E3. And we'll stay in G and A and B. Okay, and I'll just change the velocities a little bit. Okay. And we'll come back here. And we'll turn it down first before I do all that. Go channel filter none. <laughs> Make sure it's channel two. And then I'll select the Drambo MIDI effects as well. And so we'll have it coming in here now. This is the default sounds. I'll change that up a little bit. Okay, and then next I'll show you how to set up the mixer set up a little bit. So I like to put it all into one master channel. I usually use channel mix bus B and I'll send both my synths to mix bus B. As you can see, now we're on my master channel B. And uh, we'll bring in some effects next. So I like to put them on channel A, mix bus A. And we'll do a reverb. And I will send that channel to B, of course. So reverb. And you have to select it on the sub, send it to A, and then send that to A. And now we have a reverb. And I just can change it to something a little larger. Oh, so there we go. Now let's bring in another effects. Let's go with some delay. We'll go Fab Filter Timeless this time. Same process. Uh, I should send it to Mix Bus C. Yeah, here we go. And we'll put it in here. Timeless. And we'll send this second synth to C. So we um, could hear that delay. I'm just going to change some of the settings. Let's uh, add some wobble to the delay time. If you hear that a little bit. Let's change the tap amounts.
I like to change it to mid side and play with the EQ a little bit. Okay, there we go. And I'll just show you how it sounds alone. Change that to your taste, of course. And of course, we want to send that to the master channel B. And on the master channel, I like to put a saturator, so put Saturn on there. And this is generally how I set up my saturator you know you could affect your mids highs and lows uh, you could change your tube sounds this is my preference but sometimes I change it to different setups depending on the sound I'm going for or the song uh, you bring in envelope followers to follow each of the channels and you can set it up to follow band one and make it a shorter transient and band two and shorten the transient and band three and shorten it okay now you can map the follower to the drives and change the amount you're sending to it. And this is mapping it to the panning. And I do like to change it to mid side as well. But you could keep it left to right, of course. Let's change that band a little bit and we do the same thing with these ones. So you can adjust your taste where you want your panning and how much of it you want to drive with the follower. On the lows, I do like to make my panning go from mid side to mid, so I put a negative there. And on the highs, as you see, I'll make it wider, so I'll make my mid sides more to the sides. Okay, so let's bring in a limiter and this can really allow sort of like a pre-master or in case you want to set a limit or turn it up and down a little bit as you see we are actually pretty quiet on our loudness scale so we're only 24 we could turn it up quite a lot but we'll keep it a little lower for this demo Okay, I'll show you a little bit more with the MIDI. So let's add some more bars. So on the first hint, let's just create something new.
As you can see, I'm just selecting the squares above to pick a new section. So let's create something new for the second set. cities a little bit. So you can change around and kind of play live um, and just select different sequences on ground below. You can turn off the repeat so it'll just cycle through these two and you can add the amount of repeats you want. So we're two and four. So let's add some bars to the actual MIDI pieces. And the cool thing is you could select on the bottom there the sections you want to repeat and activate it. So I'm just going to change it a little bit here so we could hear something different. And you can select it on the bottom there again, the sections you want. Don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Okay, thank you so much. That concludes our demo.